In this video, we will solve and submit the ISBN exercise from the Ford series. In this exercise, we will process a sequence of ISBN 10 codes, each on a separate line. The sequence ends with a line that only contains the word STOP. For each ISBN 10 code read from input, a single line of output must be generated. This line either contains the word OK, if the given code corresponds to a valid ISBN 10 code, or the word WRONG, if the given code corresponds to an invalid ISBN 10 code. As this process will be repeated a finite number of times, we will once again be using a while loop and apply the formula from the previous ISBN exercises. In this exercise, the check digit always takes a value in between 0 and 10. If the check digit is equal to 10, it is represented in the ISBN 10 code by the capital letter X. So the 10 digit series representing an ISBN 10 code will be entered here as a string. If this string is different from the word stop, the input will be processed we will determine whether or not the input corresponds to a valid ISBN 10 code and we will print the outcome of this evaluation. Whenever the input string equals the word stop, the program will be terminated. We will now switch to PyCharm. And since a while loop was used to solve the ISBN exercise from series 3, we will start from this solution. Since the different digits are not entered separately, but as a string, we change the symbol x1 into code. This code will contain either the ISBN 10 code to be tested or the word stop. If the entered code is not equal to the word stop, we will start the instructions in the while loop. If it is, we enter loop and the program. In the while loop, we now do not have to read the other digits because they are all in the string variable code. But we still have to compute the check digit by analyzing the string code. So we iterate over the consecutive digits from the string code and enter them in the known formula. The first digit is on position 0 of the string code. And must be converted to an integer before we can use it in the formula. In the for loop, each time we take the net digit from the string variable code. Convert it into an integer, immediately multiply with the corresponding factor and add this project to the check digits sum variable. We repeat this code eight times from the second digit up to the ninth. Make sure you take the right digit from the string code. The second digit is on position 1 of the string, the third on position 2, and so on. When this code has been executed, as in the previous exercise, the check digit, again, contains the sum of the different factors. We determine the remainder after division by 11. We now extract the tenth digit from the code, locate it on position 9, and check whether the computed and the extracted check digit are the same. Take into account that the check digit can also have the value 10, which is represented in the ISBN code as a capital letter X. We get the following conditions. If the computed check digit equals the value 10 and the last extracted digit of our code x10 equals capital letter x, we will end up with a correct ISBN number. On the other hand, 
if x tin equals the string value of the computed check digits, then we will also have a valid ISBN 10 number, and in both cases the message OK is printed. In all other cases we print the message wrong. We save our work and test it with a sample input from the donor. In the menu we click Run or we click the Run button. We submit one of the test cases from the problem description on the donor and yield an OK. This corresponds with the sample solution from the problem description. When we now enter the word stop as second value, the program is promptly terminated. In this exercise, we had to process a finite number of strings, each representing an ISBN 10 code, and to determine whether or not these strings represent a valid code. The program is terminated when the code STOP is entered. This is the end of this video in which the solution of the ISBN exercise from Series 4 was demonstrated.